Hello, welcome to Excel Nana. I would like to introduce you about a good template by Microsoft. It is an employee attendance tracker. Uh, if you cannot find this file, okay, start from the new file, select the file and new. Uh, in the search, if you cannot find this template, you can type uh, in the search box employee attendance and then you click search you have to con uh, connect to the internet and it will list up the templates that are related to the employee attendance so today we will uh, I will introduce you this template employee attendance tracker okay when you select it will ask you to create a new file okay here new file employee attendance tracker 1 in this file you will see a uh, file cheese uh, calendar view employee leave tracker list of employees leave ties and the last one is a uh, company holidays the last cheese is about the master data okay I will start from the last one the last one is the list of holiday the important data is here the list of the date and here is just a description okay next is the leaf type here you can define the type of the the reason of leaf for your employee the next one is the list of employee this is the list of employee name you can put another column but the main data is here uh, as this template already uh, create the data as a table so if you add new data It will automatically uh, expand the, the the range, the score of data. Okay, this one employee leave checker is a is a transaction data. So uh, each day you have to record anyone uh, have the leave. Okay, you can put here. You can select employee six and input the date. Okay, maybe 16th of March. 16th of March. Okay, the leaf type vacation one. Okay, uh, the last column the day is the number of living days uh, that is the formula here network days so if the okay I will check uh, the holiday we have the holiday on the 4th of July so if I make the leave on the 4th of July Only one day from 4th to 4th of July so the number of leave day will be zero because it's already be a holiday then it's not count uh, if I change to be a 3rd of July until the 5th of July it will be only two because 4th of July already be uh, holiday so it's not count okay the last cheese is uh, calendar view. In this cheese is the summary data. Uh, it will summarize one by one uh, each employee, and you can select the year. That means if you change the year, the data uh, it will 
uh, retrieve the data from this sheet depend on the filter here for example uh, here is the data of employee 1 and if I change to employee 6 with uh, this one as we just input here the last row and the color will show like this vacation is the orange if I change sick leave so it change to be the right blue as this one sick leave yeah and if I change the year to 17 we have no records of the employee sick in the last year uh, 2017 then no uh, there's no, no date marked as leave but if it change to the employee one okay employee one has some leave date on the November and December like this okay so this is very good template for you to start about recording and report the employee attendance and at the same time uh, you can learn many things from this template like this one if you put uh, focus on some cells like this it will show the description of this sheet uh, for if you select this one it will show the description of this this cell is explained you can put the alternate down arrow to open the drop box and this one is will show up entry years in this cell uh, all of this pop-up checkbox is uh, is come from here the ribbon view uh, ribbon data and then uh, data validation this one is, is this one input message in three year in this cell this one so if you want to delete it you can uh, select clear all or just hide it by uh, uncheck this box so it will uh, disappear okay like this Data. it put message no need to show like this okay and you can uh, learn how to create the date the the calendar and also the conditional formatting for the uh, change the color in the saturday sunday to be the gray color or the leaf date to be the color depend on the leaf type okay you can go to the ribbon home conditional formatting and manage loo here you can check the loo is the focus here you can edit do you can check how come uh, what is the formula that can show the format like this and also here is a uh, of this is a uh, formula mm -hmm. okay so this is as I show is a uh, one of very good templates for Microsoft you can learn many things from this one however uh, the structure is not so good but it's a uh, it's okay to start okay uh, have a good luck thank you